Happy Sunday! Sunday, it's, Sunday, Sunday! It's lunchtime. Me and Ty are going to grab some lunch really quick. We're Aaron, shopping. We're shopping. Okay, but we're shopping for very something very specific. So Aaron's room, it's like we did a makeover a few, like back during quarantine, wasn't it? Yep. And it's kind of just like gone to sh for lack of better words, her room. She's a teenager though. She's been wanting to like spaz it up a little bit, if you will. So I ordered a bunch of stuff to kind of do like a mini makeover. It all comes in, the chair gets delivered on Wednesday. And luckily she'll be able to take a lot of this with her when she goes to college. It's a win-win situation. It's perfect timing to do it. She's gonna be with me for the whole summer, still living there, so she'll be able to enjoy the room for a while and feel like she has a free, fresh space. So I'm excited to do it. We're gonna surprise her when she goes out on Thursday, Friday night, I think? Thursday night or Friday night. But anyways, we're gonna go to the thrift store today because I, the makeover is gonna be like more vintage type stuff because that's what she's into. We're gonna go to the thrift stores and find some knickknacks because we don't have a lot of decor for the room. We just got all the big pieces in, like art for the walls, collage for the background, curtains, desk, chairs, stuff like that. I'm inventing a TV show. It's kind of like, is it cake? But it's the opposite. It's a bunch of cakes and one of them is not a cake. Uh, that's already a think? TV show and it's called, is it cake? Can we watch it all? No, I said the Netflix. opposite. Oh, They're all sorry, cakes and then like, one of them is actually not a cake. Like they look like cakes. One of my favorite details of the Range Rover is that it comes with a refrigerator. It does. No, so that's not it. <laughs> And then you can turn it on. And this is where Laura keeps her Dr. Peppers. Love that. Good morning, vlog fam. I am about to go to Target because I'm out of everything and I figured I'd take you with me. Today on the agenda, I got some things I gotta handle. I actually wrote them all down last night and I can't remember what they are. I gotta finish going through our PR list because we're about to send out three of our new liquid lipsticks in a mailer. Yesterday I mailed all the giveaway prizes for my Instagram. I do giveaways on my IG story all the time so be sure you're following me on Instagram. Oh, and I have a DIY project I'm gonna do today for Aaron's room. It's like eight o'clock in the morning and first I gotta go to Target because I also had to dye my roots. Okay guys, we're on our way to Target. I'm literally dyeing my roots as soon as I get home. I can't wait any longer. I put it off. It's a daunting task. So I haven't been to Target forever. I was gonna stop by CVS and just grab my hair dye, but I need a couple other things. So I was like, I'll just go to Target and make a full run of it. But I haven't been there forever. I used to go to Target literally all the time because I love it there, but you know. I've just been busier. I haven't been in like, I don't know. I think I vlogged the, possibly vlogged the last time I went. I don't know. I'm missing Target, man. Yesterday, oh my God, it was like a full day working on the Los Angeles stuff. Don't have a lot of launches this year and that's because I'm literally balls to the walls. Yeah, this year, as I promised myself, I'm gonna be doing a little less. So that means that means less launches. And also I've gotten so many questions about Nudie Patootie. If you didn't know, Nudie Patootie is my clothing boutique. We sell purses, jewelry, accessories. Come out with we were coming out with clothing like every Friday, which was amazing. You guys really enjoyed that. It did so well. We took the website down and we are not telling you guys why and i'm not telling you why because i can't tell you everything and i want to tell you everything which would lead into the why and i need to wait I've actually been down i want to say like six weeks now which i'm like jesus but i didn't know it was gonna take a long time to revamp everything we're working every single day to get it back it's gonna be back up it's gonna be better we're gonna be coming out with products that we didn't come out with before so a lot's going on there and that's kind of eaten up a lot of my time with Laura los angeles we're gonna have some launches this year and i feel like we aren't coming out with as much the launches are gonna be better i'm able to like really take my time with them instead of feeling like rushing making everything happen like this also our brushes oh my gosh Baby, our brushes be flying off the shelf. So we came out with the Laura Lee birthday brush set and it sold out. 
and then we did a restock which just restocked and they restocked this year however we're already at a low stock so if you want to check out our brush collection it is an 11 piece brush set for 52 with a bag comes with a bag too so it's like 12 items for 52 they're really amazing we're at a low stock so once those are gone the birthday brush sets are gone they're not coming back so if you want them be sure to grab them the camera keeps sliding down why can it not be like 95 and sunny every single day yesterday was 85 degrees and it was perfect i love hot weather however people always underrate how chilly it gets in california like every time people will visit they always tell me how shocked they are how cold it gets at night here it's like the air is so bitter here i was built for hot weather that's enough out of me all right people always come for me in my cleaning videos when they see me cleaning with windex what does this say guys i haven't lost my mind i mean i have it's true i have but multi-surface wood granite anything bathrooms windows this is your product i saw this on shark tank actually so it's happening I'm getting my babies some toys and then one of their scratch pads is worn out so i'm gonna freshen it up with this new one i'm gonna try these these are for fine hair wait these are for fine hair i don't know if they're gonna be thick enough so i'm also gonna get the thicker ones just in case I need to do a tight updo. Okay, I'm trying to find soap, like bar soap. Where the hell is the bar soap? Can't find it. There's so much stuff, but no bar soap. I just found my favorite color in the butter gloss. Fortune cookie. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I got everything I needed. I found the soap. I had to ask someone. I was like, what is going on? I cannot find the bar soap. I um, also found some little trinkets for Aaron's room. Um, since we're going to be doing that video soon. So I wore the sweat set and I am... I thought it, I thought it was cold today. I guess I was wrong. I'm burning up. 74 degrees today. Light, please don't turn. Okay, it did turn. Also, I need some sunglasses up in here. What is going on? I'm trying to convince Ty that you don't have to put soy sauce in the refrigerator. Well, there ain't no convincing. It don't say refrigerate, so I believe you. Look, refrigerate <laughs> after opening. Oh, no. <laughs> we should refrigerate it then. I see people not refrigerate theirs. I don't like, like refrigerating the restaurants, ketchup. They don't. Yeah, ketchup, we don't, but we do refrigerate it. I prefer... You're supposed to refrigerate ketchup. I know. I prefer room temp soy and room temp ketchup mustard. Same. I prefer cold mayonnaise because that just doesn't sit right with me. Yeah, no. Ew, mayonnaise has eggs in it. That'd be bad. What's going on with this blonde hair? I don't hair? know. What, I was literally... going to show them that we have a bathtub. Oh, well, you should show them. Lulu is playing. playing. You can barely see him, though. <laughs> Look at my cat play. Oh, there he goes. He's so cute. <laughs> We are obsessed with our animals. <gasps> Good boy. Oh, oh geez, honey, are you okay? Still the roof. Guys, we have a bathtub for the bathroom renovation. They delivered it today. I don't think we can lift this. <sighs> Just trust it. The, the you guys will have to wait for the reveal video. Oh, I am gonna do one of those. Tub. But it's gorgy. I love how vibey it is in here at night. It's so warm and dim, the lighting. It's like my favorite, the shining. We're gonna be renovating all this, but uh, this tub is like too small for how big the area is. And I don't like how it like lips over and has this border. It feels too classical. I'm gonna keep this though, cause this is everything. Anyways, I'm gonna take a bath now. <laughs> Hello vlog fam, you guys are like, wow, is she gonna wear any makeup in this vlog? Um, I'm not because every time I put on makeup, those are the days I don't vlog, I typically make content for my other socials. But whenever it's like my days where I have a little more free time and space, I typically don't do makeup because I don't wear makeup every single day. And those are the days that I vlog because I like to show you guys, or you guys seem to like more like lifestyle, just like me chilling in the house. So I'm gonna show you my latest obsession. I got me this pottery wheel actually <laughs> for Christmas two years ago. And I left it in the box in the garage. I bought a table for it and everything. And I just never used it. And he was like, really Laura? And I was like, oh my gosh. He set it up for me and I've kind of been obsessed. I also just worked out. But this is what I created today. Looks pretty good, not completely even, but you guys have no idea how hard this is. 
By the way, I took my nails off because they were old and ugly, but also because this stuff is almost impossible to do with nails on. This is my like fourth or fifth try with it. And this is as far as I got, which is really good. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is so hard. They make it look so easy on videos. It is so hard to do this. It's hard to center it. It's hard to mix enough water with the clay and mold it. It's just so hard. Like this is extremely impressive and it may just look like a bowl with a ridge in it, but it's so much more than that. But I've just been like doing my own research and you guys have been helping me out. Someone just told me, a, a pottery instructor just told me which clay to buy, so I just bought some more. So that's been me and I just, I'm doing it in my garage because it's ah. just way too messy. It's actually not as messy whenever you don't overdo the water. Tonight I'm going out to eat to Taisho. It's such a fun restaurant out here in LA. And then I'm going to the movies. And then so I'm gonna film some stuff for my other channel for that. So I'll probably pick back up on vlogging on Sunday. But real quick, Chris and Dominique just dropped off this adorable package. And this is her new collection. This is a huge collection for Dominique Cosmetics and I'm so excited for her. They're coming out with loose powder, powders, loose powders, loose setting powder, really cute sponge. And then 17 shades of a new concealer. She sent me these shades for contour and highlight. What's interesting is it has a metal tip for the wand. Just wanted to show you guys that. I think that's super unique. Can't wait to try that out. And then I just swatched it. She said it's buildable and that it is full coverage. So I cannot wait to wear it. All right, guys, we are headed out. We're going, uh, I just got Aaron ready for prom, by the way. I'll insert a little clip. Ooh. Honey, this look is turning. But I got a full video of that going up on this week. Did a full glam with me, but we're, what are we going to, babe? We're going, it's called Netflix is a joke. Netflix is a Comedy joke. Fact. They're having that tonight. It's supposed to be really bomb. They had it last weekend, but it's first, first come, first serve. So I don't even know if we're gonna get in. We're on our way to meet some friends there. And then, yeah, hopefully it's a good time. I'm not sure will be. <laughs> we made it! Okay guys, we just ate at Mama's Shelter. It was so good. I didn't vlog any of it. But we ate good though. <laughs> we ate good. <laughs> and the drinks were great, the vibes were great. The vibes and drinks, it was all good. I had to fight for a spot in the bathroom. It's fine. She made it though. I do. I always say yeah. Oh, you are always back to How you doing? You know it's hot today. Is it? Yeah. We're at the beach, we're getting a little workout in. He's trying to combat his farmer's tan. Trying. I'm so tired. I'm like half asleep here, but I need it to get a little workout in before we go to Hawaii. So I went to the Rolling Stones Digital Creator event last night. <sighs> and I stayed there and I went to bed like one. And then naturally I woke up at like 6.30, so. You know, I'm uh, really tired today. Freezing? Yeah, but the sand is so hot that it kind of felt good. Sand feels really good, guys. The water's always cold here. You guys, these dogs I think are the cutest dogs ever. What's it called? An Akita. Akita. It's an Akita. Oh my goodness, I just want to hug them. Okay, watch this pelican right here, guys. Watch it. All right, guys, watch this pelican dive. Boom! Got him a fish. That's crazy how they fish. Oh, he got one. He's eating it. Oh, out of here, bitches. Do they swallow the fish whole and the fish is just flopping I around in their gut? I think they do. That's crazy. I think they, or do they, they don't have teeth. They hold it right here, don't they? And like they're... Yeah, for a while. Probably like kill it in there and then just digest it like a snake. But they literally, pelicans do this all the time at Santa Monica. I didn't see them do it as much in Florida. They no, do it some, but not, not it's more out here that you see them do it. it. A lot out here. We're eating lunch in the car. We just got true foods. I got a quinoa bowl. We got cauliflower hummus. I got an ancient grains bowl. We got a spread and we're just sitting. Mine's vegan, guys. I mm, love meat though. Vegan. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is dusty, Tyler. It's embarrassing me right now. It's just the sunlight. It makes it worse than what it is. Anyways, we're eating in the car. You know what I mean? Happy Saturday. This vlog is kind of all over the place, so just don't pay attention to the day. Today I'm gonna try to prep for the Benefit brand trip. We're going to Hawaii on Monday, it's Saturday. So they sent over this list of stuff to bring. But they also sent us a care package. It came with this cute fanny pack with like Benefit stuff in it. It must have stepped on that, that's great. 
Uh, then they had like a swimwear sponsor that sent us some swimsuits. This is like a cool one piece. It's like cut out. Hey, mommy. This blue one is really, really pretty. I like whenever they have a bra type top because it's really lifting. Shirt thing. And they sent us these really nice towels. Thank you, Benefit. I'm also gonna bring my luggage upstairs. That's all I need to get. Okay, so I can read your itinerary. Ooh, let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot Benefit actually gave us these little slides too that I've been wearing every day. I'm trying to find my packing cubes. <clears throat> these nice travel pillows in here but I rarely bring them with me because I'm just too lazy to carry them around they take up a lot of space Got the packing cubes. These are from Amazon. I'll link them down below. They also come with this travel bag as well. Ta da! That you can put your stuff in. And then these packing cubes just condense everything so much. So I go ahead and get all this ready, and I'm putting this up here to pack instead of on the ground, which would be easy on the ground, but my cat pees on everything, like sprays. I'm zooming in, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> this is like a safety area. <laughs> this, this won't get peed on, because he peed on one of our luggages, and it just was not, it didn't end well, because he peed on the inside. Now I'm gonna pick outfits based off what they told us, and then once I have everything pulled, I'll start putting it into the cubes. But I'm also gonna bring my steamer. I have this out of the laundry room, it's my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my luggage, because I'll forget it, and I really don't want to. That's the difference between a cute outfit and a wrinkled one. It says, um, night one is just a dinner, and it says, bring tropical prints, anything flowy and breezy. All right, so we'll need something like that. And in the morning, breakfast, and then that day, it says, bring your colors and get ready to tropic like it's hot, and don't forget your sunscreen. Bring out colors. Dress code, bring out colors. Then that night dress code goes to pool party ready. Pulls your runway, come pool party ready. Whatever that means, heels or snorkels. And then the dress code that night is Hawaiian, but make it full glam. Bring something athletic. That's very straightforward. Got it. But then that night, the dress code is monochromatic. Okay, so see, we have a lot. This is why it's hard for me not to go shopping all the time, because I'm like, do I have all this stuff? Maybe. Let's see. The daily key. I bought this outfit from Zara, and I was thinking it could be pool party ready, because it comes with these shorts. And I could wear a white bikini and leave it open. Um, okay, so I have one thing. Okay, then we have like a Hawaiian dinner and from Meshki I bought, oh, Tiger Mist. This is from Tiger Mist. I bought this dress and platform flip-flops to wear together. This could be either, no, the lawn friendly one is the monochromatic night, so I can't wear this on the lawn friendly one, but this is what it looks like. Little islands. It's a pretty interesting little piece, but I thought it'd be cute with the platform heels and like a little early 2000s moment. Okay, I just realized I have this monochromatic outfit. It's a skirt. Hey, boo-boo. I don't have shoes. Maybe. We'll put this in the maybe. You guys, he just got in trouble because he tried to go underneath my dresses down here, right down there, and tried to pee. This is what he does. And he's done it before. Whenever you have to wash like 30 dresses because he peed on one of them and it got on all of them, you're not allowed in there. Don't. Don't. No, no. I am gonna bring this as like a backup dress. I got this at Glads Gladson's. And on my swimsuit I bought for Hawaii from Abercrombie and I just realized I bought a broken swimsuit. It doesn't latch. I guess the latch or like a string is missing. Okay, I looked up the swimsuit and I am missing the string. So I'm gonna try to find, try to find a string to DIY it, this swimsuit. I also have this one and I, this does not seem right. So I'm trying to figure out how to wear this one. Like what's wrong with it? Okay, this one's cute. Ignore the swimsuit. I can never figure it out. So I'm not gonna bring this tan one. I literally cannot figure it out, but this is cute. Cut one of my tops that doesn't work with my boob size. So I just cut it and now because the end is frayed, I'm just like melting that in there. 
This is the back. But this I'm going to leave until I get there. And I'm going to situate this because I don't. I, I'm going to step out of it and leave it tight. But I don't want to cut it now because what if it doesn't work out and I need extra string and that way I'll have it. But this swimsuit is like not even that cute on me. I don't know why I just put all this work in. I have like cuter swimsuit. Okay, this is so cute. This dress with the flops. Like this is a sleigh. I actually like this outfit better. Just like the overlaid oversized linen shirt from Zara. Like this, this could be cute. I don't know how I feel 100%. With the bright swimsuit, I might do a softer swimsuit with this. I think it might even be cuter, but it's a thought. Somehow we ended up at the mall. Look at these two <laughs> pairs of shoes alone. They're absolutely ludicrous. They're so good. I love these though. I'm getting these for Erin for graduation. I, I mean, them. as part of her graduation gift. I mean, are you joking? What would I even wear with these though? What would I wear with these? It looks like we're gonna figure it out, babe. All right. We're getting shoes. All right, guys, we got Hawaii stuff. We got shoes. And now we're getting lunch. Now we're getting lunch. We need to feel <laughs> lunch. So and then we're done here. I would say we got all this done in less than an hour. I know, I'm proud of us. I thought it was gonna take longer. Me too. <laughs> I couldn't not. All right, this is what I got from the mall, PacSun. I got these, they're like knit dresses. But this is like so Hawaii, right? And then I got this one just in case. I need a backup Hawaii dress. Anyways, so I bought these shoes as well, which these are ridiculous. I got these at the Steve Madden store. Literally ridiculous. <laughs> But I kind of want to wear them with this dress because they're the lawn friendly thing. And this outfit feels outrageous right now, but I think I'm going to do it because life's short. And why not wear a Hawaii green platform flip flop outfit? Why not? Okay, these, this Amazon cube, I'm crushing in like all of my outfits for dinner, which this is a little excessive, but... I always take it there whenever I pack for trips. So these cubes are lifesavers. I'll link them down below. They're also in my Amazon storefront, which I just spent. Look at that. So many outfits. Fits perfectly in your bag. And then this one is going to be like my beach wear day, beach day wear outfits. I could probably transfer this into a smaller one because this is about it on that. Swimsuits. I'm going to put the swimsuit bag in the beach wear bag and combine them because you can do that too. Short tops and then I'm gonna pack a pajama one, like a nighty clothes one, and like a bras and stuff in one. This one, and I'll have an extra. And I can put whatever in, like, and then I still have this one for toiletries. So far, they fit, and I'll honestly probably put like one or two more on here and then close this part. So it's really genius way of getting more stuff in your luggage. Also, right now I just spent like the past two hours updating my Amazon storefront. So if you guys want to check it out. I just made a summer fashion collection, which is seriously the cutest summer fashion collection I've like seen. Maybe biased because it's my store, but seriously, it's the cute stuff on Amazon. And I adjusted the products in the storefront, like my favorite stuff to the top. So I'll link that in the description box if you guys want to check it out. All right, guys, we are looking good. The only thing left I have to pack is, oh, by the way, I fit like everything in the second cube, all my pajamas, all my swimwear, all my day beach wear, pretty much everything fit in here. And then this is my night outfit. And then my shoes fit. I want to bring these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit them. They're by Schultz and I haven't been able to wear them yet and I'm dying to. I don't know if I'll have the opportunity, but I'm bringing them in case, but they may not make it because if I need more space in here, we can only have like one luggage because of the little seaplane we're going to go on. Toiletry items. I'm probably going to switch over to my toiletry bag over there. Steamer, shoes. These platforms are really doing some damage on the real estate in the luggage department and I'm gonna need them to pay up. Then I have this little jewelry box also linked to my Amazon store, I'll link it below, but all my jewelry I'm gonna take. All right guys, that's it for this vlog. I have to start editing it to get it up for you guys because I'm leaving on Monday, so I want to start a new vlog, hopefully. I'm gonna pack this too. I haven't used it yet, I just bought it, but I wanna give it a go on this trip. I just put that in there. I'll probably put in my makeup. I still gotta pack my makeup, but I'll get that done on tomorrow maybe, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'll see you in the next vlog. I love you guys.